All right, so we're in After Effects and we're gonna do a quick and dirty rotoscope um, on myself. Let's take a look at uh, what we've got here. I'm just gonna solo this guy. Um, going to attempt to solo this guy. So yeah, that's just this layer. If we solo this guy, we've got a black solid there. And if I solo this guy, some rainbow stripes, right? And this is obviously video footage, so. What uh, a rotoscoping uh, tool allows you to do, and it's just a pen tool up here, is I'm gonna select the layer that I wanna scope, right? And, uh, or track, or piece of media, however you wanna think about it. And um, they've gotten fancier and fancier on this, but this is uh, this is the pen tool, and um, I've got Roto Bezier uh, checked off so that it'll create nice sort of rounded uh, uh, points for me vector points. So now what I'm going to do is on that piece of media again I've got it selected I come up here with the pen tool and I'm just going to start roughly uh, Shaping out around here And you can see Some of these curves get created for me coming up around Face Sorry, I'm not the fastest rotor sculptor. You see people that are good at this and it's just amazing and the other thing to note while I'm doing this is um, things have come a long way. Selection tools, AI tools that will get the basic outline for you and then automatically adjust to the movement of the person uh, are now available uh, in a lot of the tooling out there. So this is old school. Back in the day, people used to do this frame by frame and they'd uh, animate or adjust the scope as needed. But what it allows you to do is you could cut something out of an image, in this case, a, uh, a person, right? And I've got this mask layer now. And all these points are adjustable. Um, you know, I could come in here and tighten up this up, this up quite a bit if I wanted to. I could have been more precise with my scope if I wanted to. Um, I can add points and I can remove points. Uh, it's like the Adobe option. So if I was to click in here on this, it'll add a point. Uh, let's do it right here. I add a point right here. Let's see, I've got a new point that I can drag if I um, if I press, I believe, the option down and I click on a point, or maybe it's command. Yeah, it's command. It'll remove a point from it, right? So it makes it easy to adjust the the mask on this and. You can see just tighten up however much I want. Um, and depending on the situation, if you've shot against a fairly solid color, um, it's pretty easy to mask something out, scope something out, even sort of loosely. I'm going pretty tight in here, but you can uh, tighten things up pretty loosely and um, then drop it over the top of another piece of footage, which we'll take a look at. So I'm gonna go ahead and feather this uh, a little bit. Oops, feather the... See, I can feather as much as I want, but so you can feather, which would allow me to, again, go back in and tighten things up a little bit more if I wanted to, or make it a little bit wider. And I don't have another piece of footage. This isn't a great piece of footage to uh, drop on top, but you can see I've already isolated this and it's sitting over the top of this black solid. So all I'm seeing is uh, black. Um, and if I get rid of that, here's that other piece of footage underneath it. And, you know, you might tweak your feather or your scope a little bit, uh, depending on, on how things match up. You can also, you know, then start doing things like applying blend modes. So, you know, maybe I'm going to do something crazy like multiply or, uh, oops, I didn't want to do one of the, the stencils. Um, difference or a screen so you can see and this can be used for both you know for anything so humans if you want to scope out a, a screen the what's on the screen and then drop something uh, underneath it it's great for that great for creating um, masks so that is a rotoscoping pen tool and uh, Adobe's got this fancy thing, like I was saying now, where you can actually, they call it the Roto Brush 2, and you actually paint, you draw um, lines inside your subject, 
and uh, it works with AI and it's like, okay, I, you've now basically told me what I should be looking at and um, you can adjust the exclusion zones or whatever. And then it will do a really pretty amazing job uh, going through and um, every adjusting where the scope is based on that subject moving through a scene. So I'll link you to um, a video about that new tool that they just dropped on that. So anyways, this would play really nicely with um, some of the blending modes, the track mat stuff, and um, help people start to isolate themselves. You see lots of people who just want to sort of drop themselves over a, a background, a black background, or a white background, or whatever, uh, on one side, or, or over the top of footage. Um, and with the right tweaking, you can get um, a pretty nice effect, right? So again, this isn't great footage because I get all this foliage uh, with all this detail in it that, um, is contrasting with again another not piece of great footage but um, take it as you will hopefully that helps it gives you some ideas